Hello my friends out there, this is Evan, your friend in some really exciting tutorials. Today I will grab my Photoshop and I will show you the way of creating chocolate status from nowhere. Actually we will take just a statue and then we will make it uh, really great, really great looking with the help of Photoshop and of course really sweet and really sexy from chocolate. So I will just use this photograph. You can find this photograph below in the details of this tutorial. I will go to Photoshop, Control N to create a new document. Of course, the document has adopted the dimensions of my copied image. I will name this as Choco, actually Choco Statue. And then hit the Enter, Control V, Command V in Macintosh. And next step, I will grab the lasso tool in order to select only the statue that I am interested in. And then I will just use the shortcut Control J in order to create layer via copy. I will delete the previouses. And of course, then I will just grab my crop tool. I will go and I will select the statue and only the statue uh, which had which has remained over here. And then I will use the magic wand in order to cut the extras and of course I will just use the lasso or the polygonal maybe it's gonna be much more easy to bring in some of the details of the statue to my selection show actually I'm using the alt key right now option key in Macintosh in order to cut some selections of the magic wand because the magic wand is really great tool but it is a blind tool it doesn't really understand what uh, I really need to have uh, included or not it just sees uh, uh, the same amount of brightened pixels. So now my uh, selection looks okay. Of course, I have to also take away that one. And of course, I have to use again the shift and key in order to use more extra selections over and then I will just delete it. Great. And now my statue, it is cleaned and it, it is ready actually to be transformed into Choco. I will actually name this statue. And the trick is like this. I have to use some extra layers. I will uh, blend those layers to the statue and I will, I will paint those layers to specific uh, colors of uh, chocolate in order to make them blend evenly together and actually uh, produce a nice uh, choco result. So let's just uh, let's just start over. I will create a new layer. Actually, only one. I will name this. Uh, let's say choco. Choco base. Great. I will uh, paint this one with a base chocolate color. Let's say that one. 3D2409. 3D2409. And then I will just use the shortcut, which is Alt Backspace Option and Delete in Macintosh. And I will paint the whole uh, layer with this Choco Base color. Afterwards, I will uh, change the blend from Normal to Multiply. And now you can see that my statue has been transformed into chocolate one. And then uh, because I want uh, this uh, actually effect to take uh, to be only over the statue and not in the background, I will actually create a clip uh, over uh, between actually the choco base and the statue. So in order to do that, in order to uh, make the choco base to be uh, only applied to the statue, I will use the shortcut Alt in PC, option in Macintosh between those two layers. You see this little sign over here. And if I click between those, I can just create a clip and then you can see that the effect is been, has been applied only to this statue. I think now the choco base, it is okay, but I need to create some highlights. So I will go, I will actually create a new layer. I will name this choco highlights. Okay, uh, highlights, my friend, not highlight. Ah, excuse me about that. I have to do it again. Choco highlights. It's really hard to type uh, when you have the microphone in front of you. Anyway, Choco highlight. Uh, it has been. Uh, it's been uh, okay. It is ready for me. And now we'll go to the statue. I will select the statue layer. I will go to select color range and from here I will just use 
the fuzziness in order to as you can see here to use only to select only the highlight areas of this statue i think at about 30 it's gonna be okay i will hit the okay button and you can see that i have just selected only the highlights of this statue and then i will go i will select the choco highlights i will uh, bring back again the choco base and i will take my brush or actually i can take this uh, color picker I will uh, take the base of this color. I will just make it a little more brightened, but from the from the gray area towards the gray area, not the uh, higher area over here. I will hit the OK. Doesn't matter which color you will use. Probably we will select something different afterwards. And then I will just paint again with a shortcut Alt and uh, Backspace in PC, Option and Delete in Macintosh. And as you can realize now, my statue looks, looks really chocolate. Check this out. Only this little trick made the statue pop up and look choco. And now, my friends, the tutorial is done. My choco statue is being created. Check this out. Wonderful look. It looks actually, it's, uh, it almost smells like chocolate and I can't wait to eat it. Well, of course, not this part over here, but probably something like that over here because, uh, you know, you don't mess with the scissors uh, in all of his body parts. So anyway, we were from here and we have been there. The Choco statue, it is ready and it is ready for you, my friends. If you liked my tutorial, please like my work, share my work and don't forget to subscribe to my channel in order to watch all my tutorials almost every day i publish for you one new tutorial in photoshop and not only photoshop so get subscribed in order to see all my new sexy tutorials have fun my friends and keep photoshopping